Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, the instruction was for us to quickly speak on our learnings in the project and uh, basically how the journey was. Uh, let me give you a snapshot. Westlake Primary School um, is about eight years old and we have a vision of um, developing our learners to be literate, numerate and be contributors to society as well as uh, global citizenship. So when the project came, we had to look because there's a Westlake story, a dream that's unfolding. So we had to look and see where do we fit in. That is what we do with every opportunity that we get. So um, thank God, um, Kathy came on board and she fitted in like a glove. And the story began. Um, obviously, as a royal school, we launched the first COP. Um, so it took place at our school. And um, during our first engagement, um, we discovered that we have um, commonalities. We both July babies, the first and the second respectively. And we both love traveling. As a result, we missed one, um, one uh, training session and we had to go and train with other people that are not in our group because we are very busy being involved in boards and we have a lot in common. And at one stage, we looked at each other and we said, we're doing all this how do we find time for this? But we managed. Um, so we attended some courses, um, as mentioned and alluded by the previous speakers. I'm not going to dwell much on them. But basically, we looked at, um, as I said, we have an existing structure at Westlake. So um, the community building a project, we then wanted um, to work on social cohesion, because we've got diverse um, Languages, we've got about 15 home languages at our school. So we wanted to work specifically and zoom in into a community building and also having Kathy as my thinking partner to enhance my effectiveness as a leader. So we worked on various projects. Um, for instance, um, we looked at, we had a sports day that was organized and her company's Wind Lab and they all came on board and worked. She did not only work with myself as an individual, she then had to work with the coordinators of the different projects that we were working with. So there was an, an open uh, panel system. The people did not only work through me and her. We involved our colleagues that are actually involved in making our projects a success. And at school, we have a devotion session in the mornings because we believe you have to motivate the staff, motivated staff, motivated teachers, motivated children and a motivated school. So um, Kathy also zoomed into that and we have um, Belinda that's sitting over there who did yoga with our teachers before school starts. So we had a yoga session and then after the bell rings and life go on, goes on. Then uh, back Kathy, then we also have um, a relationship with stakeholders and we, uh, we take pride in our learners' achievements. So we name certain awards after certain companies that sponsor. If you take a child, you would be responsible for uniform and the well-being of that child for the year, and then uh, books and everything that the child needs. So then there is a Wind Lab Award, which is also named after their company. And somebody asked our uh, sponsor of, of this project. My partner is one of them. Thank you very much. So um, that is the trophy that was given to the specific learner. Then, um, like I said, a community building project. We had a school community project, which is done by a group um, led by the deputy principal, the Apples. So that's a story for another day. So the Apples organized a community project which was the bazaar and Kathy played a leading role and she liaised with various staff members in order to make the occasion a great success. Those are some of the pictures that we took on the day and on the far right we had um, the cultural value of learning with the children that were demonstrating the various cultural activities which is again like I said we're looking at tolerance and social cohesion among our diverse children so that they can go and be responsible beyond the school level. Personally, what have I learned? Um, the journey has been fantastic and the theories that we've learned, um, time to think, time to think specifically has taught me to think 
not necessarily with an intention to respond, but to think and digest what the person is saying. And in the past, I used to listen and knowing what the answer is going to be. So it has contributed to myself as a leader personally in the way I process in my thinking processes. Then the community building workshop, I already lead from the center. So it resonated with me and it actually enhanced my effectiveness because I'm not a leader that believes in hierarchy. You can walk into my office anytime and you will find the cleaner sitting and typing on my chair. So I lead from the center and I already have that community. So this actually shaped myself within a particular framework so I could see my operation through a certain lens. And then the flawless consulting also had a major impact because I could now contract differently and I could be more assertive than I already was because there is always room for improvement. And um, basically, we don't see problems. And that's, already, that's always been the Westlake thing. We don't look at problems as problems. We look at challenges and how we can ignite them as possibilities. And in terms of human relations, we are, we are excellent. I speak about my staff wherever I go. There they are. And um, they are the pride of the school. So human relationships, 100%. But what we need is skills like the community building, because the kind of a child that we work with needs a strong teacher like the Westlake Primary School teachers. So I am going to stop there and hand over to Kathy. Do you want me to click? Yeah, you can it's just one side. So I don't think anybody can read this, so I'm just going to ad lib because I forgot what I wrote in any case. <laughs> I think a lot of people think about PFP um, and think about grand gestures. I definitely did when I joined the program and I thought it was about doing big things and sponsors bringing a lot of money. And for me, those haven't been the most valuable things. It's been the small things that I'm taking away with me. So it's been drinking coffee and having discussions with Paul in the most eclectic and wonderful coffee shop in Musenberg and the, the skills that you've taught me and just actually the experience of getting to know Landy and having the opportunity to kind of walk a year of her life and learn about her and the things that happen in her life and just to make that connection. Um, so the small things have been really important to me and Anybody who knows Landy knows that she's a force to be reckoned with and there's, there's not really much that this lady can't accomplish. So I feel quite humbled just to have been able to help her along the way in the, in the small things that we've done. And PFP became less about what we as a business were going to do for Westlake Primary School and more about what I could learn from Landy and, and all the amazing things that she has achieved. Um, so it was quite a different reality to the expectation. And the thing that I also really love about PFP is how it's not been my partnership with Landy, but the partnership of me and so many people around me with Westlake Primary and, and their family as a school. So there's been people from our business, almost every single one of my colleagues has been involved in some way and has contributed. Um, my friends and moms of kids from my, my children's school have been baking cakes at midnight the night before the school bazaar. My husband was in charge of policing about 50 children on a, on a jumping castle at this bazaar, which included my kids. So it's been my family, my colleagues, their friends, everybody's in, been involved. And I just want to take the opportunity to say to Westlake Primary and everybody that's here, thank you for opening your doors and your hearts and letting us be a part of your school family. It's been an incredible privilege to, to be part of this. And we look forward to carrying on our partnership with the next great things to come. Ah, she had one job and she... <laughs> hey, now you have to talk to the last slide now, yeah. Go, go, go. It's not clicking, it's stubborn. It does it. It froze. It's frozen. Technology. Yeah, my shoes are also free. Okay, so the last slide, while she's struggling with technology, <laughs> it's the fourth industrial revolution. 
It's about the, the way forward, where to from here. The partnership is definitely not ending. Once you go Landy, you never go back. So Kathy is not off the hook. Um, we're going to embark on a big project, which we've started, but we had some minor challenges. We're looking at, uh, when Westlake was built, it was built for two classes per grade, and we've since grown to three classes per grade. So we're looking at um, having a gallery for the school hall, because uh, we cannot have both foundation phase and instant phase in the same space because of um, the number of children that we took. So hopefully we are going to work on that project and we're going to continue working together. Like I said, we always up and down. Sometimes she would text me and say, I'm sitting in the airport and I'm making some notes on this and this and that. So um, Kathy, thank you very much for coming to our lives and fitting like a glove and the partnership has gone beyond because we speak about our families and everything else that's happening like she's alluded. I think that slide does not want to come so thank you very much.